Hey guys, Zach and Rocker, once again, to give you the latest review of Jack and Daxter 2, out of the whole um, HD collection that yeah. Sony recently it's not, released. I mean, it's not called Jack and Daxter 2, it's called Jack 2, because they want to oh, decide, it? they decide since you barely play as Daxter, it's just the name of Jack. Oh, really? Yeah, so... Oh, wow. Yeah. That's kind of stupid. But, but um... Yeah, they did a lot of improvements. It now, starts out with your guy still in the first place in the first one. And, um... They opened the portal, uh... Precursor portal, which led them to... Teleport and separate from each other. And Jack and Baxter end up in a city called Haven. Haven City. They land... Guards... What? Oh. <laughs> well, I was trying to do some in the beginning. Well, okay, well, okay. Well, guards, they rest you, and they take Zack in for... Uh, I mean, not Zack, but... <laughs> they take Jack in for, um, experiment. They inject him with Dark Eco, so he becomes a Dark Eco beast kind of guy. He, he the ability and stuff. And he's been in there for two years, so they gave him a whole new look. He has longer hair. He has a goatee. He has some clothes and stuff. Some clothes and stuff. But, um, well, yeah. There's two versions, like I said in the previous video. There's a, there's a disc, disc copy, and there's um, a PSN version of of the three games. We got the PSN version, which cost 15 bucks each, I believe, correct? Yeah, but 40 for the whole. 40 for the whole, the, for the disc one. And, um, as you can see, if you press start or something, they, they re-edited that out, all out. Yeah, they remade the screen. They remade that out from the previous one, which I guess does that is that make it, it helpful? It was, it was, yeah, it makes it more easier. Makes it more easier. For um, some reason, precursor orbs that you collect from the first one aren't really common in Jack Two and Three, so they're like rare to find. And the more you get, you can unlock secrets. HD version. Did they polish it well enough? Did, is it like an upgrade? It is an upgrade, but, you know, the environments could be a little brighter. They're all dark and gloomy looking, like, mm -hmm. all the time now, in Jack 2. Uh -huh. But what I like about this game, they actually have guns now. So you ain't just punching and spinning stuff. Yeah, that looks good, too, yeah. Guns um, are very useful. Combat scenes. Well, how, how did the, the combat, did that improve, or? What, this? Yeah, the combat, like, gunplay, combat. No, it's still the punch, the jump, the slam and the uppercut thing for regular combat. The guns are pretty neat. You get more guns later on in the game. Right now they have the rifle and the blaster. In a way that kind of, and that kind of reminds me of Ratchet and Clank. Yeah, it does. Um, well, uh, what about the sound? The sound quality's okay. Is it, is it better than Jack 1 on PS3? Or? Yeah, it's way improved than Jack 1. Alright, cool, cool. Uh, there's has there been any glitches lagging? From what I experienced so far, no. And look, I found a precursor. So it's it's pretty smooth. Yeah. All right, that's a good sign. Um, another thing is the, uh, they took out the fish too. They took out the fish. Yeah, when you're in the water, like if you go too far in the water, when it's out of bounds of the game itself. Now let's talk about controls. Could, have they improved? Have they? They're not as sensitive, like. They're not you know when you're riding the like with the vehicle controls, they're still a little sensitive with the hover bikes and everything. Mm -hmm. But that's just you know. I they do look like a little yeah they jumpy gets, at times. Still. It gets jumpy, but once you get the hang of it, it's a piece of cake. Um, the character models are they look they look well um made well made yeah yeah I like I like Jackson's look better than the one from the first game because you look like a fag in the first game. No offense. <laughs> And, um, what else? Um, he's more aggressive in this one, like, he, he cusses, he has a voice, he actually talks in this one. Really? Yeah. Now, enemies, are they, like, good yeah. detailed, or are they, like, challenging bosses? Bosses, they can be, I haven't fought a boss yet. Because, you know, the game ain't really about that. Yeah. It's about the underground rebelling against the Baron, the Red Baron, which are the guards and stuff. So and, what? and then there's this, this metalhead king monster thing that controls all the metalheads, which I'm fighting right now. Seems like you get a lot of ammo. Yeah, you do. You never run out of ammo. Only for like the bigger guns, like the Peacemaker and stuff. Now, what are these? These are metalheads. Metalheads? Yeah. 
Alright, well, speaking of that, there's also a new feature in here called Dark Jack Form, which is pretty cool. When you get enough Dark Eco, collect enough Dark Eco, you can turn to Dark Jack. Here, I'll show you. This is Dark Jack. I forgot that and You get, like, special moves and shit, like, the Dark... Oh. What is the dark, their dark jack slam energy thing, but you get more powers and more precursor orbs you find. So it's well polished. It sounds better than, uh, the sound is better than Jack One. Um, graphics are well polished. They're, they're little shaky. It's a little dark at times. And, uh, what else? If you're, like I said in pr the previous review, if you're a fan of Dragon Dash, you definitely have to get this. Vehicles, they can be hard to control from what I've seen. It's, like it's a bit challenging, especially the hovercraft, I believe they're called, right? Hovercraft. Yes. And um, I hope this is not too loud for you guys. But, um, I collect skulls from uh, Metalhead Skull gems. Um, the big upgrade shit with. But, uh, yeah. Oh, there's, two there's two different versions. PSN uh, version, which they call. It is more challenging, though. 15 bucks each. This is 40, which is well worth it for three games. And, um. Uh, what else? I believe that's it. If I were to rate this game, I'd have to give it a personal opinion a 7 out of 10. Because, like. I don't know. It's just. The storyline is kind of hard to follow. Hmm. And for some reason, this one doesn't catch my interest like Jack and Daxter does, and like Jack Three does. All right. Plus, too fucking challenging. It's too challenging. The enemies are the enemies can be overpowered sometimes. Hmm. All right. Well, um, next time we'll <laughs> give you a review on Jack Three. So. Well, once once we give you that, we'll give you our official review for the whole bundle. And uh, I hope you like this video. Please like and subscribe, and please don't be afraid to comment. We need comments to help us improve what 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 we need to do better at. So please help us out on that. Thank you, and um, make sure to tune in for our Jack Three review. Thank you.